Hi, and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today, we're taking a closer look at the GWN1000 G Shock, also known as Golf Master. Ever since this now discontinued variant came out in 2015, I've been in love with it, or should I say, the look of it, because of the very pronounced gold bezel and the gold colored hex screws holding the strap, as it reminds me of the Seiko Golden Tuna, one of my all time favorite watches. I never pulled the trigger as I always had some other watches incoming and was also not sure about the size as it is a very large watch. When I used Bai to get the new MIP Display Square and the 4th year anniversary DW6640, I had some budget left and this came to mind. I looked up a used one, this popped out and I pulled the trigger. It has been with me for over a month now and I can say that not only do I find it to be one of the best looking Master of G models, but also find it to be one of the most intuitive and easiest to use G-Shocks ever, despite it being loaded with functions including the full ABC package, meaning altimeter, barometer, compass and thermometer. Thanks to the smart access crown done the right way, and the way Casio programmed the module, everything is right where you think it will be, and unlike other models where you have to dig deep inside the settings to find them. For example, the unit's toggle is within their dedicated sensor functions, not in the home time setting. Setting and calibrating everything is as simple as unlocking and pulling out the crown. Also, the more advanced functions such as weather alarm that is usually deep inside the setting screen of the barometer, on this, it is activated and deactivated in the home screen with a single button press, making it easy and fast to use, which makes sense as this watch is targeted to people who live off the sea where weather is quite important. Also, the world time has one of the simplest time swap options I have ever seen, making it ideal for frequent travelers or those dealing with businesses in other time zones. Again, a simple press of a button will switch between the world time and your home time, while changing the time zone is also a matter of pulling the crown out and rotating it to the correct city code on the outer ring which is also how you set up home city while in the home time mode. Having the ability to display both the barometer graph and world time function in the home screen means you only need to access those functions when you want to change things, again making the watch easier to use. With the rest of the functions including a moon age and tide graph, a 24 hour stopwatch, countdown timer, 5 alarms and radio controlled self adjusting of the time, this has more functions than you'll ever need, while solar charging means you'll be able to play with all of them worry-free. The only weak point, function-wise, is the fact the countdown timer is only a 60-minute one, settable down to a minute. And it's the only thing I would change about it. Well, that and the backlight. Even though the watch has loom, and it's quite good on the hands and 12, 3, 6 and 9 markers, I wish they incorporated a black light LED like on some Gravity Master models. They already use two LEDs, one for the digital screen and another for the analog part. If they went with a black light LED for the analog part, it would have made the loom pop and also recharge every time you press the light button. When it comes to exterior features, the one thing I found annoying was the keeper that is too large for the strap and keeps sliding out of place making the long piece stick out on my small 6.5 inch wrist. Luckily, I found a perfect keeper in my strap box that not only stays put, but also presses the part that sticks out against the rest of the strap, making it look perfect. The watch itself is one of the largest G-Shocks on the market, but despite that, it wears better than my GW6900 that is medium sized. The reason for that is the way the strap is attached to the case. It bolts from the front and has a very steep almost vertical angle leaving the case, which makes it hug the wrist regardless of the size. Another benefit of this strap is that it makes almost half the bezel, so replacing the strap will make the watch look almost like new. 
The pronounced gold bezel might seem like a bad choice for a G-Shock, as you feel it will take all the blows. But in reality, it is actually well protected, as this example is from 2015 and the bezel is in a pretty good condition despite the strap part around the bezel showing some heavy and serious wear marks. This shows the shape and size of the strap part of protection wasn't accidental, as it does its job. Buttons are large and easy to press, which combined with the already mentioned crown makes operating the watch a joy. Despite being outdated, especially in the world of smartwatches, this is still a very capable, user-friendly and most importantly, gorgeous G-Shock that was the peak of their old school tech, before they started pairing everything with our phones. That and the fact I love the way it sits on my wrist is the reason it will definitely stay in my collection. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.